Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, it was about a year ago the Prime Minister tried to push through changes to Parliament's rules to silence the opposition. Now, that attempt ended in complete failure, and he had to back down. But yet, here he is again, at it again, wanting to centralize his power. This time, he wants to shut down debate, and he only wants to show up for question period one day a week. Why is the Prime Minister so determined to avoid accountability? The right Honourable Prime Minister. On the contrary, Mr. Speaker, we're pleased to put out a broad discussion paper on how we can make improvements to the functioning of this House of Commons so that members can better hold the government to account, so we can move forward on legislation, so we can make better work-life balance for the many uh, individuals with young families in this House, do a better job of uh, working efficiently here in Ottawa while serving our constituents back at home. I'm excited to be launching an open conversation for all members of this House to participate in. And I encourage the members opposite to continue to contribute their thoughtful ideas to this process. Order. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Speaker, the Prime Minister's plan undermines the very principles of responsible and accountable government. The fact that the Prime Minister doesn't want to show up to answer questions more than once a week shows how little respect he has for Canada's Parliament. Now, as inconvenient as he thinks it is, Parliament is actually the seat of our democracy, and central to that is the role of the Opposition. So can the Prime Minister explain to us why he's willing to undermine our system of democracy simply to get out of answering tough questions. <laughs> the right Honourable Prime Minister. I'm always pleased to be here in this House to answer tough questions and easy ones, like the member just asked me. Uh, the fact is we're always looking for ways to improve things, and as today as we reflect upon uh, the seat of democracies in London, uh, the fact is uh, that we are put forward a broad range of proposals, including one. Order, order. I'm having trouble hearing the answer. I know members are anxious to hear both the question and the answer. I ask members to cooperate and to in order, Honourable, the Right Honourable Prime Minister has the floor. I'm happy to highlight that we're always open to improvements and ways to be able to hold this part of this uh, 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 government to account, uh, and that includes looking at where things are done elsewhere, including in uh, Great Britain, uh, in the UK, uh, where the Prime Minister has an entire question period uh, devoted to answering those questions. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, what the Prime Minister is proposing, he's proposing to change the rules so he can actually silence the opposition. His plan is to restrict debate, shorten the work week, and limit his attendance to question period to one day a week. No one has ever attempted gutting accountability like this. So I'd like to ask him a simple question. What would he have done if Prime Minister Stephen Harper had proposed the same thing? Yeah. Prime Minister. The previous government would not have put out an open discussion paper, or would not have engaged with the opposition, I proposed months of discussion in committee on the best way to move forward. We are happy to be launching an open conversation on how to improve the functioning of this, this parliament uh, in a way that meets uh, the needs of Canadian families and Canadian uh, uh, members of parliament. Uh, the fact is, we're happy that we're launching in an open way an important conversation that apparently the members opposite really don't want to have. 